Hi everybody, welcome to the video surprise of the day. Today we're going to look at the 2019 and 2020 Toyota RAV4 SUV. They come in many different option packages. So we're going to show you a few of them. Before you get started, please remember to hit the subscribe button, the bell icon if you want to be notified new videos. I really appreciate that thumbs up. Thank you very much. Okay, so this is a RAV4 XSE Super White Hybrid All Wheel Drive. You can see the blue badge in the front as well as the fog lights as well and i'm going to tell a little bit about the vehicle electronic all-wheel drive 2.5 liter four-cylinder hybrid with a net 219 horsepower so the net 219 is the combined and you got front 118 horsepower and 149 pound feet in the front the rear is 54 horsepower and 89 pound feet Okay, let's take a look at the window sticker here. It makes an MPG of 40 combined, 41 in the city, and 38 in the highway. Currently, the safety ratings are posted over there. It's pretty good overall. And you can see this one's about 36K for MSRP with destination. Right now, it's selling at near MSRP, and it's really hot because of the redesign as well. And it's more like chuck base like if you notice, compared to the previous 2018 model. So it's a hot seller for Toyota right now. Okay, we have a 2019 RAV4 XLE in silver sky metallic. So beautiful silver. Very nice combination of black and silver in my opinion. It makes 203 horsepower at 6,600 RPM, 184 pound-feet at 5,000 RPM. So basically you have to hit around 5,000 RPM before you start to see the power band. So, you know, it's going to be slower in acceleration, but definitely it's a very nice looking vehicle overall. Okay, and let's look at the back of this vehicle. It's an XLE all-wheel drive one, a little bit different from the one we parked over there. So this one has the same beautiful silver color. Those the different trim colors overall. The bumper is black. Uh, you know, looks pretty good overall. And, uh, you know, the tail light got a nice redesign as well too. More box-like, more stronger, bigger type of feeling with this new redesign in 2019. 2020 should be similar overall as well too. And you nice tailpipes as well. Right when you open the door, you notice that this vehicle is a little bit different from other SUVs. Nice door handle, nice feel and touch the door handle with the power windows, the, you know, also in addition to the power mirrors, the chrome door handles. You can even have a nice armrest with some padding as well too. So very versatile, very useful, utility-like, I could say, you know, and it doesn't look that it's cheap. It doesn't look high-end, so I would say it's just like in the medium. So, you know, definitely a nice redesign. Let's take a look at the passenger side point of view. So you notice there's enough room, very ample room for the passenger and driver as well. You know, it's the center console. It comes with a traditional shifter, which is a good thing. And the center console has the iPad like device mounted in the center. It makes it easier to drive and look at the same time, less distracting. And also, nice size center console as well, too. Okay, looking at the engine bay, notice there's no insulation on the top of the hood. And as I already mentioned, the uh, 203 horsepower at 6,600 RPM, 184 pound feet at 5,000 RPM. But keep note, there's not a lot of power in this vehicle. I tested it as well. You won't get a lot of power until you hit around 5,000 RPMs or so. You know, basically this car is great for utility work and uh, light driving or, you know, hauling around for small uh, trips and such, but there's definitely not a lot of power in this vehicle, but it has ample power in terms of uh, drivability and also it gives you a nice ride as well overall. Okay, and let's look at the, the dash right here. You notice that it has a nice, uh, size to it and you know it's very easy to read gauges and stuff like that you got the tech and you got the different temperature hot and cold and also the speedometer and also the fuel levels also in there this is a very basic look on this particular one different models have different dash that you can see more information as well too this particular one i'm in is an xle uh notice there's no letter steering wheel but the functionality is pretty much the same overall you got the push button you got the voice controls on the left. You got the phone controls also on the left. Also the stereo controls on the right. You got the cruise control. 
and also you have the mode for the radio and skip channel as well too and uh, notice that also the the three the different three spoke uh, steering wheel is very comfortable to drive with while testing the vehicle i noticed the infotainment screen is quite small i wish it was a little bit bigger but it has all the necessary knobs and such you got the power you got the tune you know you got the menu you got the audio got the map everything you need is there but wish it's a little bit better in terms of the size and layout uh, and also the knobs you notice plastic knobs can you make it a little bit more sturdy i guess over time maybe that plastic thing will definitely rub over time so keep that in mind for durability wise you know on the radio and stuff like that when you're using it okay look at the interior a little bit farther out zoom and you'll notice that you know, the layout's pretty good overall you still have the the shifter which is one of those special things that a lot of manufacturers are taking out but you know the center console and the radio buttons are nice and big easy to reach and you also have some storage area as well too so you know and notice the you also see that there's a nice size glove compartment and you know you're looking at the center of the vehicle there's definitely enough room for the driver and the passenger on the front row okay looking over here we noticed that you know it has some lights and night is very useful looking at maps and stuff like that and you also have the, the garage door opener setting besides the the moon roof as well too so all the controls are open and closed so over here and you also have the sos just in case there's an emergency so emergency service to render your help plus a sunglass holder as well Okay, let's look at the, the back seat, the second row, and you notice there's quite a bit of room overall. It fits three passengers, uh, ample size, uh, in very upright seating position, and but not very big area overall. If you could fit two big people in the back, then you'd be more comfortable overall. Notice that you know you do have the power windows, nice door handles and such, no heated seats in the back, but definitely does its job and also these seats are foldable as well to you more storage and stuff just fold them down okay over here we got uh, quite a bit of room i actually got this shot from a different vehicle because i didn't make a shot of the back i found out but uh, you know you can see there's quite a bit of room enough carrying space where we're super small ladder and such definitely more room if you fold down the second row seats as well too there's a little pass through that you fold down you still could leave this uh cover as well too so you know it's not very small but not very big but definitely enough size for more normal use as well too so you notice the second row over here is the space and you can definitely fold it down to get even more space overall so the the seats fold down pretty good overall and pretty flat and you can see this particular model is xle on wheel drive it doesn't have the the special features as the limited or the higher end trims as well too if you see okay i want to show you a vehicle with the xle premium trim so it's an option to have the power lift in the back and the next package could be around 33k just to get the little button that you can press for the lift gate to go down and up so just something i want to flow out in the video over here okay for the xle all-wheel drive without the power lift feature not the premium it's about 30k and also average combined mpg is 28 mpg 25 city 33 highway and there's not rated for the safety part but it will be pretty much the same as the one that they rated for the hybrid i noticed the hybrid is very high demand right now as well there's a big wait list in my area in california so just keep that in mind Okay, I'm going to look at the LE all-wheel drive as well. So I'll show a little bit difference. Notice the front fascia is different. It doesn't have fog lamps and, you know, the grill looks all dark and blocking out. Not a lot of high-end touches to it, I guess I would say. But, you know, it's still a RAV4. So you're not missing a whole lot. If you only all those special features, you might not save some money, right? And look at the LE all-wheel drive. It has the same engine. It has the overall same powertrain. So... So the LE all-wheel drive, in my opinion, is a bargain. Uh, but this is how it looks like in the back as well. In addition, it doesn't have, you know, CarPlay. And, you know, that's something that you sacrifice with the LE model. You have to upgrade to XLE or something higher to really get all those features. 
and it comes with uh, LE, XLE, XLE Premium, and Limited. That's what I understand. And there's the hybrid version as well. A lot of different models. You know, you have to spend a lot of time looking at which model you like, or you just pick out the features you want in this particular ones on the RAV4. So, and again, here's another picture. It's an XSE. It looks like it has the fog lights, nice wheels, and looks really nice. But of course, the price is a little bit higher. Power on these vehicles are not super, but you know, it's enough power to get around and very versatile. That's the main thing. Versatility and you could bring it outdoor as well too. So I just want to mention that uh, there's a lot of different models. Look at it carefully before you go to your dealership. You'll like it. It's a great vehicle. Oh, by the way, I have to mention that the LE model is at this price right here, about 29K. MPG is about 30, 27 city. 34 in the highway. Hopefully that helps you out in your shopping experience. Long video. Try to cover as much as I can. Really appreciate a thumbs up. And it helps me and the channel as well too. Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye.